Hey Tube, how you doing? Bubba here. Well, spring is really cracking nice here now. It's slow, but the buds are coming, so, you know, and yeah, everything's busting up, so, yeah. So, getting back on the 454 here, carrying on, changing out the valve seals. If you saw my short, thanks for watching that. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through and uh, show you a way you can do these with the head still on the engine. Uh, so, that's a... Uh, a benefit for sure if that's all that's needed bad valve seals this will get right into the whole lesson of it here so that's a valve rocker arm push rod on this side inside here are where these seals ride on the valve shaft on the valve stem keeping the oil that's splashing all around your valve cover from getting back down into the chamber, right? <clears throat> One of the best ways you can tell that you've got this as a problem is when you first fire your engine up, you get the big puff of blue smoke and then it goes away and doesn't come back until the next time you fire up your engine, that's valve seals. So it can be super annoying problem, uh, but it's pretty easy fix. I'm super lucky I got everything apart uh, it's a little more, you know, I don't know if I'd say involved, but you got to be a little more careful when you're doing it, you know, with the intake and with everything still on, because then if a push rod or something isn't lined up in one of the uh, lifters, then that can be troublesome because, well, here, we'll just get going on it and I'll probably end up blabbing as I go. So uh, first things first, here's the rope. Actually, no, first things first. I already did this one to warm myself up, so I'm just going to keep moving in a line. So this here is our uh, number six, those two are. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to rotate the engine over until the number six intake. And you can tell your exhaust because here's your valve. So a six, here's the valve, and there's the exhaust port of the engine. So you know that's exhaust, so then that one's intake. So that's the one we're going to watch. We're going to watch this intake, and once it fully opens, oh, I don't know if I can do this with you guys. So you can see it. I guess we'll try this. Uh, so yeah, number six intake is that one. So once we don't see it move anymore, there, see it just came up there a bit, and that's, I'm going to call that good. I had it pretty much set up before we started this, but, so anyway, and you know, now I got the pan off, I can even confirm, there's that journal out of the bottom, ready to swing around, and so it's at its lowest there. So now, we take the rope, it'll fit in the spark plug hole. And we feed it in. So right now we know the piston's at its lowest point. It's going to start coming up here soon to compress the mixture that it uh, just charged in whatever cylinder it is. And now I'm pushing and I can't push anymore. So the thing to do is to not get um, confused by that. See now it's going again. So if that rope hangs up on you, you got to make sure that you're getting as much in there as you possibly can. Because if you don't, and you bring, because now, uh, so much to say. Anyway, that's the big thing, is when you feel this rope get tight to where it can't fit anymore in the cylinder. We'll go through it again here. I'm pretty sure it'll happen again. Uh, so here we go. It's full up. Rope won't go anymore. Pull it out a bit. And then wiggle it. Oh, and look at that. And there she goes again. She's taking off again. So that's a real good tip for you guys to see that. That just tried to do it again. Give it a wiggle. And it just keeps going. Okay, I think we might be there now. Starts getting real tough to push. 
No, 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 that was even just a bind up. So that's the big important part of doing this, you guys, is to make sure you get every bit of rope in there you can. Because what we're doing next... Uh, holy man. This one took even more than the first one I did. Yeah, that's it. You betcha. So now that you've got that rope in as much as you can get, now as a final thing, we're going to rotate the engine. until we can't anymore. That rope is gonna bind up in that cylinder. And it's almost like being on compression. There, that's it. That's as much as I can get out of that. So now we know that rope is all compressed up in that cylinder, holding our valves, which are both loose because of where they are in the firing cycle, right? Now, another thing I'll do from here, because now those are ready to disassemble. Uh, next thing I do is I take a count, start with my ratchet in some position that I know, so I go like straight down. And I count the number, ah, there we go. Count the number of turns. One, two, three, four, five. Now that fastener is loose. So what I'm gonna do, disconnect to my ratchet. I'm gonna pull, shit, ah, five or six, probably five. So now I'm gonna pull back on that rocker and I'm gonna go and leave the ratchet in there so that so that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten in a bit. I'll set him down. So now I'm going to come over here to my fancy dancy little plug box that I first started with when I turned it down. And I'm going to go exhaust. What was that intake? That's the intake. No, that's the exhaust. Yeah. So. Just like that first one was 10 plus. Exhaust. It's going to be 10 plus. <sighs> and there I leave it on the side of whatever cylinder it is. You only do one of these at a time. On we go. Same here with our intake. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Came off right at 10. So now I'm going to go mark that in my book. One, two, three, four, 
why I'm doing that is so that I can reassemble them in basically where they came when I took it apart. So it should flash and run. Then, of course, as we get this engine running in the truck, we'll go through them all and adjust them all properly. But it's a good basis point because that's where it was. So now we've got the push rods off. Now we use this little valve spring compressor tool. Handiest thing. This one was made by KD, I think. So what we got to do is get it on the spring. What I always do is make sure to get the, the, the tangs of it into the spring really well. There you go, it just clicked in on that side. And now I'll turn it as much as I can to get more purchase on that spring. So that you're kind of winding it almost like a thread. Then we start cranking. What we're doing here is, oh, actually I didn't, I should, you know what, I'm going to do it. Because it seemed to make a big difference on the first one. Just give these a smack. Seems to loosen them up for some reason or somehow. Okay. Something soft, I give them a smack every which way. I'm try that again. Tight as I can get, those fingers are fully engaged into the spring. So now we crank it up. Give it a little look, make sure it's coming straight-ish. Never will be perfectly straight because the springs are coiled on an angle, right? There, and now you can see. Can you see? No, you can't see. So I'll make it so you can see. And you can see the spring is starting to be loose on the valve, right? And then here inside there are the keepers, which thankfully this is all dropped, this top part of the retainer assembly there, because a lot of times it'll just stay stuck with those keepers. That's why if you give them a little wrap first, kind of helps soften them up. fidget these little keepers so with both of those out you can take the spring out and now that valve is just there waiting to have it's seal replaced. So I'll pull that off. It's kind of soft. They're not a lot different from what I'm putting in. Quick little look. Yeah, it's okay. Valve's staying up nice. We like that because if that valve drops down in that head, you're, you're toast. You got to take the whole head off to get it back out. Uh, what now? What now? Oh, well, yeah. So now. Grab our new seal. There's some nice clean motor oil I got in a spray can lid. So I'm going to dip that valve seal in there just to get some oil. 
in it. Flip it over onto the valve. I'm gonna put the oil back there. Yeah, this one. Sometimes they come with a uh, like a little plastic guide piece, but these ones didn't. They're really soft though, so I imagine that that's why it's not needed, because some, some you'll get are quite hard. And those, um, all the ones that have like a steel case where they seat onto the stud. So now, with that seal, the new seal in there, it'll help you hold the valve in that position Plus you push it down into whatever they've got there at the base, like that one there. There's like a ring and it fits in and it kind of holds it there. But really that's about all you can do is to get it on the valve as good as you can. Get an angle. Yes. Ah. Yeah, so once you're satisfied, that's down in position, which I am, that the valve's pulled up. Okay. So the valve back in with the ring and everything. Get these keepers. That okay. Now what you do is you pull up. See, I got those keepers in there holding that valve and so now what I'm doing is I'm holding the valve up and then I'll release it. I'll undo the, the spring tension on what we did. And that will take up the slack and you'll have no chance of dropping it and having those clips come out and sending stuff all over your shop. I don't know how much tension these are really on. I don't think it's that bad, but it'll hurt you. Probably won't hurt the spring or none of the parts, but it'll hurt you there. And I just felt it let go. So there you go. I will now bring our soft face. Give it a few celebratory bangs to make sure it's all seated good. Nice and open here. So I can set the rocker onto the valve with the push rod. I can come around here with the intake off. It's usually if you, if you can spin it. Oh, see that? It just... So it was out a bit, it just fell into position. So now that's right. So I hold that there. Let's just get the nut started. Then whatever that count was, 10 plus. And now come here. Whoa. So that was say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and it's a ten. That would stick loose. So there you go. That's how you change valve stems, seals, valve stem seals. So, i got a few more cylinders to get through here. So I'm going to leave it at that. I hope you give me a thumbs up and like it. 
And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one. We'll just keep going. Can't wait to make this blue disappear, I'll tell you that. So uh, yeah, thanks for coming out. Good times. See ya.